served our country in the Navy. Not just in the Navy, but he served our country in so many different ways through his celebrity. Him and Mr. Cosby. Mr. Cosby has always used his celebrity, his name, his likeness, to uplift women. This is a man who refused to perform at the White House with Nixon. Nixon put him on a communist list in the 60s, along with so many other great names like Dick Gregory, uh, James Fonda. How could a man who was being watched by the FBI every day be raping and drugging women in the 60s or 70s, especially a black man? Today, innocence came to Mr. Cosby with the help of these wonderful attorneys. Yes, yes. To his right, you will see Ms. Jennifer Bungeen. She argued the appeal. To my left, you see Brian Perry. Yes. To Brian's left, yeah, Ashley, <laughs> Ashley, Cohen. Ashley Cohen. And then you have Kelly Cobalt. Kelly Cobalt. These are women and men who, who, from all walks of life. As I said earlier, James Brown made a song. It's a man's world, but it would be nothing without a woman and a girl. Mrs. Cosby was that woman. For 57 years, the queen, the matriarch of the Cosby family, who fought for his vindication, who said he would be vindicated. And today, on this hot day, this is a hot verdict for us that we will forever cherish because we got one of the greatest, or the greatest entertainer alive today. Mr. Bill Cosby, this great American citizen, this American treasure, this icon with us today. I'm going to allow, going to allow Ms. Bungie to say a few words. Ms. Bungie? Yes, um, obviously we are thrilled to have Mr. Cosby home. Uh, he served three years of an unjust sentence. Too long, too long. And he did it with dignity and principle, and he was a mentor to other inmates. He was really... As I say, doing the time, the time was not doing him. He's a classy man. And I want to say this about the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. They demonstrated that they were impervious to the court of public opinion, which, frankly, the lower courts were not. Mr. Cosby, we, we knew all along he never should have been prosecuted for this. He had every right to rely on the prosecutor's word. And they pulled the rug out from underneath him because of politics, because of the court of public opinion, and that is not how our system should operate. Absolutely. When that happens, there cannot be a just sentence. And if there had been a just verdict and a just sentence, we wouldn't be here fighting. But there was not a just sentence and a not a just verdict. And uh, I think it's really important that we keep our eye on the ball, that our Constitution is sacred, and that we need to uphold it at all times. And I'm glad that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court saw the way we did. I'm very proud of the team that we put together. Uh, very proud to be part of this case. Uh, we always thought that eventually this is where it would end up. Mr. Cosby and I had many, many talks over the last couple of years. I predicted it, and we were here. It's a good day for the Cosby family. Mr. Cosby, how does it feel to be home? Well, <laughs>
I don't know how a DA has that much time on his hand to find him $2,010 for not cutting his yard. I was on the way to pay that fine when I got a call from Nick the Hat. And uh, Nick told me that they had vacated the conviction. You know, what we saw today was justice. Justice for all Americans. Mr. Cosby conviction being overturned is for the world and all Americans who are being treated unfairly by the judicial system and some bad officers, because all, all officers are not bad. So we want to thank this entire team. We want to thank Mrs. Cosby, her family. I want to thank my family. And just thank you all for those who decided to tell the truth and allowed us to tell the truth when we had the opportunity. Bill, Bill, give us a few words. Bill, give us a few words. Just say a few words. Mr. Cosby, how you feeling?